Azar chapter 11, the passive. Passive voice or passive is a way of forming sentences so that the focus is on the person or thing receiving the action. Let's see some examples. In the active voice, I have the sentence, Mary helped the boy. So Mary is the subject of my sentence. The boy would be the object of the sentence. But in the passive voice, the boy who used to be the object of the active voice is the focus of the passive voice. So you have the boy was helped by Mary. Notice that the subject of an active verb follows by in a passive sentence. The noun that follows by is called the agent. So by Mary, Mary in this case would be the agent of the passive voice sentence. What about the meaning? These two sentences have the very same meaning. It's just the style of expressing the message is different. I can say Mary helped the boy or the boy was helped by Mary. Another example, we chose plastic film to cover the microphone. Or I can say plastic film was chosen to cover the microphone. And how do we form the passive voice? Combine to be, it can be in the present, in the past, in the future, plus past participle. Let's see some examples. My portrait was drawn by a street artist. Here I use the simple past. My portrait is being drawn by a street artist. Here I'm using the present progressive. My portrait will be drawn by a street artist. Here I use the simple future. So as you can see, depending on what you want to express, you can use the simple past, present progressive, or simple future. Don't forget that past participles must be memorized, the regular ones. For example, see, saw, seen. Seen is an irregular past participle. You need to help students memorize the irregular ones. If it's a regular one, all you have to do is to add ed at the end. Sometimes it's more appropriate to omit the agent of the action. For example, workers installed burglar alarms. In this case, I can say burglar alarms were installed by the workers. I am showing my agent. Or I can say burglar alarms were installed. Why would I omit? Because it doesn't matter who did it, who installed it. And most of the time when you use formal writing, that's the passive voice you're going to use without showing the agent, omitting the agent. In these two examples, I am showing the agent. Burglar alarms were installed by the workers or Life of the Mississippi was written by Mark Twain. Only transitive verbs can be used in passive voice. If I say Bob died, I cannot change that sentence to a passive voice because to die is an intransitive verb. Active or passive voice? Well, for academic and business writing, you need to advise your students to use active voice. Why? Because it's simpler and more direct. The passive construction is effective only when the doer of the action is unknown or irrelevant. For example, I can say rice is grown in India. The olive oil was imported from Italy. Our house was built in 1970. The passive form of modals and phrasal modals. You can also use passive with modal verbs. Let's see some examples. Tom will be invited to the party. The painting has to be seen at the gallery. Fred is supposed to be told about the meeting. The letter should have been sent last week. This house must have been built over 200 years ago. Stative passive verbs. The stative passive is a special form of the passive. We are no longer expressing an action. Instead, we are describing a state, a condition. The form is the same. You need to use a form of be plus past participle. Remember, there is no action being expressed here. Instead, the past participle is helping us describe the subject. So it's pretty much like the past participle acting as an adjective. Marta is addicted to chocolate. The parents were tired of his lies. The children will be excited about the trip. Other examples are be devoted to, be done with, be married to, be known for, 
be frightened by, be worried about, be annoyed by, etc. You have a complete list on your book. The passive with get. You can find passive sentences with get. Let's see some examples. I am getting hungry. Let's eat soon. The dog is getting fat. In these two examples, get gives the idea of change. The idea of becoming, beginning to be, growing to be. If I say I'm getting hungry, I was not hungry before, but now I'm beginning to be hungry. Let's see some more examples. They are getting married. I got tired of the rain. In example C and D, the past participle functions as an adjective. It describes the subject. Participial adjectives. In the active, the ending is ing. In the passive, the ending is ed. Students sometimes find it difficult to choose between adjectives that end in ing or ed. But if you understand the difference between active and passive, you can easily choose the correct form. If you need an adjective to express an active meaning, then you choose ing. For example, I found the movie Fireproof very touching. This is in the active form. The movie Mr. Popper's Penguins is very amusing. So I choose ing. And why? Well, because the movie Fireproof does something. It touches. And the same thing with the movie Mr. Popper's. It amuses. In the passive voice, I can say, at the end of the movie Fireproof, I cried. So I was truly touched. We laughed a lot watching Mr. Popper's Penguins. We were amused. The past participle serves as an adjective with a passive meaning in these two situations. I am emphasizing the effect that the movie had on me. How did I feel? I felt touched. I received the action. Finally, we have the patterns of verbs. You need to show this to your students because depending on what you use in the active voice, you are forced to use a certain tense in the passive voice. So Mary helps the boy. This is in the present. In the passive voice, I have to say the boy is helped by Mary. But if I say Mary is helping the boy, the boy is being helped by Mary. Mary has helped the boy. The boy has been helped by Mary. Mary helped the boy. The boy was helped by Mary. Mary was helping the boy. The boy was being helped by Mary. Mary had helped the boy. The boy had been helped by Mary. Mary will help the boy. The boy will be helped by Mary. Mary is going to help the boy. The boy is going to be helped by Mary. By Friday, Mary will have helped the boy. By Friday, the boy will have been helped by Mary. The examples you see with stars are rarely used in the passive. And that concludes chapter 11.